there. I'm looking to tie my PM Sparrow for you today and start out with the hook. It is a, yeah, the fire, the fire hole sticks. Um, it's the 551 and a 10. And I've got a tungsten bead, slotted tungsten bead. Um, and it is a 3 16 And first thing, I'm going to take a little bit of my lead wire. Um, and this is uh, 0.015. And I'm gonna give this thing probably, I don't know, 10 or 12 wraps or more. I just kind of like to fill up, fill up a bit of this hook shank here. And and take that back a ways. And I'm gonna use this as my point fly. So heavy is good. All right, then I've just got some uh, Vivas 100 denier thread that I'm gonna stick on here. And get rid of this little line here. So I'm just gonna wrap that a few wraps over the, over the lead. And I've got some tan marabou that I'm gonna use for the tail. And that's not a huge clump, but and I wanna get that just a little bit, eh, about the same length as the, uh, from the bead to the bend, um, and I'll tie that in. Tie that in, cut that off. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a little teeny piece of, I have black crystal flash, um, and I just like to tie one little strand on each side of this tail, just to give it a little bit of, just to give it a little lateral line there. And that's pretty good. Um, and the next thing I'm doing, is I've got uh, some ultra wire copper, and I take about a four or five inch piece of this, tie that in, and nextly, I have some hair's ear Antron blend, um, and this is a natural dark hair's ear dubbing that I'm gonna stick on the body here. And yeah, about like that. And I'm gonna wrap that wrap that pretty close to the back of the, the bead. Add just a little bit more here. Um, and then I'm gonna take my copper wire and wrap that backwards of the way that I dubbed it. And I'll probably try and give it four to five, four to five segments. And tie that off. And I don't need to... sorry. Okay, get rid of that. Nextly, I will take just a little bit more, another little pinch of dubbing, I think. So I want to have that built up a little bit more. step I've got a pretty a medium-sized Hungarian partridge feather that I'm gonna tie in and I'm kind of gonna use that just to add a little bit of 
a little bit of something to the front of this thing. And I'm gonna give that like one and a half wraps, maybe. Is that right? And tie that off. All right. Now, nextly, I'm actually going to stick a whip finish in this. And I'm gonna change thread color. I like to add a little hot spot. And I've got this uh, fire orange uh, and 136 denier that I'm gonna add. And now I'm actually gonna add just another little pinch of my hair zero dubbing before the next step and I'm going to try and pull these Hungarian partridge feathers back a little bit build it up just a little bit there I don't want to get it too too congested but all right so now next step I'm going to take a little bit of this ice dub kingfisher blue which I really think is cool and I'm going to stick just a small, small amount of this on. A little bit of that blue. Next dubbing, I've got this ice dub orange, which I'm gonna take just a little bit more than what you see there in the blue. It's a little too much. And I'll tie that on. Get that in here. And that's, I'm gonna leave just a little bit of that blue showing. And that's about it. And then I'm gonna create just a little bit of an orange hot spot here. In front of the orange. And I'll whip finish that. Just give it a couple more turns here. Just all right. Now I take just a little bit of my brass brush here. Just give it just a little bit of a little bit of a fluff up. I've got some. UV uh, that I just like to throw on the thread wraps just for a little more durability. You know, this thing's going to be bouncing on the bottom a little bit. Yeah, and I hit that with my UV light. And that's it. is the PM Sparrow, Pure Michigan Sparrow. Hope you like it.